Okay, here's a tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro on how to export your video. I'm going to go through the settings that I use um, to get really good video quality for uploading to YouTube. So once you've finished your project, uh, what you need to do is go up to File and then Export Media. And you're going to be given this quite uh, confronting uh, export screen with lots of different options here. Um, I'm going to walk you through every single step, so don't freak out. Uh, the first step that we need to do is set our format. This is the video codec. There's lots of options, but what you should use for uploading to YouTube or Vimeo or social media like Facebook, Instagram, etc. is H.264. Uh, this is the best codec uh, for web playing. Um, and then under preset, there's lots of different options options that actually uh, coincide with the various forms of uploading to the internet. YouTube's down here, Vimeo, etc. Um, I would recommend picking one of these uh, presets. Um, it does mean you need to know if your camera has been shot in 1080p full HD or in 4K. Um, this uh, video that I shot was using a 1080p camera, so I'm just going to use YouTube 1080p. Um, next step is give your uh, video file a name. So at the moment it's going to be called Sequence01, which is very confusing. So I'm going to click on that and change it to something else. Let's call it uh, My Awesome Video. Uh, and I'll just save it onto the desktop. And then because I set the preset as YouTube 1080p, um, a lot of these video settings here have already been pre-filled in by Adobe for the optimal uh, out export settings for that uh, uh, video uploading service. But I'm still going to make a couple of changes. So at the moment, the resolution is set to 1080. I'll keep that. The frame rate is set to what the camera shot at. For this one, it was 25. Keep that. Um, aspect to square pixel, keep that. However, click render at maximum depth. That's just going to uh, increase your quality slightly. Um, under encoding settings, um, keep the profile at high and keep the level at 4.2. If you are exporting using 4K um, and you've changed the preset to YouTube 4K, that level will increase slightly, but at 1080p, 4.2 is totally fine. Under bitrate settings, at the moment it's set to VBR 1 pass. I'd like you to change that to VBR 2 pass. Basically, that just means that the program when exporting is going to pass through the entire video twice, um, ensuring there's no errors. Target bitrate at the moment is 16 and maximum bitrate is 16. Um, now, there's a lot of debate over what these uh, numbers should be. Um, Basically, if you're, if you're exporting in 4K, they need to be much higher than this. But in 1080p, a target bitrate of 16 is good, but I increased the maximum to double that to 32. Um, so basically, um, Adobe is going to be targeting an export of this quality, but it can go up to this quality if need be. So that's, that's my uh, rule of thumb. I just double whatever the target is. Uh, you don't have to worry about advanced settings. You don't have to worry about VR video. However, I still down here click on use maximum render quality. Let's just go into audio. Um, make sure that the audio format is AAC and the channel is stereo. Audio quality is high and bitrate is 320. That should all be set as a default when you set your preset to the YouTube 1080, but just double check it. All right, um, that will probably give you quite a large file size. Um, if that is an issue, then the way to reduce the file size is start moving that target bitrate down. But as you move it down, you're going to get less quality. So I think a bigger file size is better for bigger quality. Um, so I'll keep that at 16. Um, then you have the option of either exporting it uh, by using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro to export your video, or you can press Q. If you press Q, um, and I'll do it, then what's going to happen is the video is going to be sent to another program, assuming you have Adobe Creative Suite, it's going to be sent to another program called 
media encoder. Um, this is what I use to export my videos uh, because um, sometimes, particularly on big video files, Adobe Premiere Pro can crash. I don't find that as much in media encoder. So let's just let that open up and I'll just show you this program as well. Okay, so this is Media Encoder. Um, as you can see, I have my uh, video here, my awesome video. Um, it's going to go on my desktop. All the settings are ready to go. You actually don't have to do anything except for click play. And then it will down here show you that it is exporting the video. It'll give you the time remaining and you can even watch it export if you have nothing better to do, but you probably have something better to do, in which case you can just go and surf the net or something while it's exporting. Um, after that, you are going to be given a uh, file, which I will show you in a sec once this is finished. So once that's finished exporting, uh, you can just go to wherever you wanted the file to go. I wanted it on the desktop, and there it is, my awesome video .mp4. That is a file. I can double click and play and watch it, or um, you can now upload that file onto YouTube. Uh, so that's how I go about exporting my videos.